Hi, I'm Wally Armstrong. If you want to build confidence in your putting game, then the Wally One Putt is for you. It works for straight putts and breaking putts. And it really takes half of the putting game out of the picture because it helps you to train your brain to line up this putter with a spot every time. Now here's how you use it. You simply put it over the top of the hole like this. And basically it shrinks the hole from four inches to two inches. And then you want to take a small coin like a dime and put it right on the front lip of the hole. And that's the spot where you want to aim your blade. And then set your ball up and aim that blade right to the hole, right over the dime. And think about rolling it over the dime, back and through and into the cup. The more you can practice with this, the more it's going to train your brain to find a spot on the cup to aim the blade. Then when you take the Wally One Putt out, the hole looks huge, but you still want to focus on a spot and practice to a spot. Okay, here's how we use the Wally One Putt for breaking putts. And you can see I've got a right to lefter here, and I've marked it with T's to show the direction of curve to make it into the cup. But let's talk about just playing breaking putts. You see. When you look at that hole, you're instinctively going to look to the leading edge, the closest edge to you, which is here, but that's the low edge. Then when you get over your putt, you're gonna to stroke to where your eyes looked, and that's why amateurs typically will miss on the low side. So how do you train your brain to look where you want the ball to enter on the high side, the pro side? Well, you take your Wally One putt, we put it in the hole again, and this time we dial it around, covering up this front lip, visualizing where we want that ball to enter. It's almost like a train. You want to visualize a train going into a tunnel. Now you may want to take a dime again and put it out to the side of the hole where you want to start the ball. And then here's how you do your teaching station. You put your ball on the outside of the tees. You line up the blade towards the dime. And then you try to feel that distance. How much speed do I need? to have it curve right into the hole. This is how you make your practice effective. You know, if you can hit a two inch hole consistently with your straight putts and your breaking putts, then a four inch hole is gonna be a piece of cake.